What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm bringing you guys another Locals Vlog video. We are here at Emmett's Toy Stop where we're going to be competing today and actually last video last week I should say I uh, played Tempai, came first place with Tempai, and I did my deck profile for you guys. Now I didn't vlog that event so I thought today would be the perfect time to vlog the Tempai Locals and uh, I'm really excited. I This is going to be my last Locals before my wedding. My wedding's coming up and uh, so for that reason i just wanted to take the deck have some fun today and see what we can play see if we can go back to back first place with this deck oh um the sun was out i was gonna say sun's out guns out i was gonna try to even out my tan but uh it doesn't look like the sun's really out anymore so uh i don't know now we're just flexing for no reason but with that being said let's get inside and see how locals goes today all right so it turns out we actually have the round one buy which is nice it's a four rounds today at locals uh, i think about 10 10 or 11 people something like that we got four rounds today and uh give me some time to work on the deck which is really nice but i do want to show you guys just before we continue it's a quiet room today feature match right over here right over here you guys can see it spanko duels if you guys check it out you guys will see feature matches from all the locals whether it's my duels whether it's some of our friends duels they're all gonna be there but like i said i'm playing tempai today i switched something up i don't want to expose it just yet because i don't want the people over here to know but we're on super polymerization you heard it here i don't want to lose to you but i'll lose to a lot of these decks that just kind of come out of nowhere i feel like super poly going first and second is really good so in the side deck i think it's really nice because i can uh, put it in going first against decks that it's good against put it in going second and then when it's not good into certain matchups i just use the super poly targets as prosperity fodder so that's kind of the mindset i have today but i, I hope no one heard me. i want to make it as much of a surprise as possible all right i'll see you guys when round two starts so remember how I had the buy? The reason I had the buy was because my round one opponent didn't show. However, he ended up showing up and it was uh, Dean Smith Ubel, one of the best decks, if not the best deck in the format. So what am I playing against? The Phantom Negates and uh, Desiree. Is Desiree only once per turn? Uh, yes. Okay, so Desiree Negate and Phantom Negate and then two sets. All right, draw for turn. Okay, stand by main. I think I'll just start things off by activating Harpies. Yeah? Yeah? Nice. Soon after. Uh, so you've taken 25 and 16. Mm -hmm. uh, this should be game if they go through. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, we got the win to O. Tempai is just so good. I'm going to have some clips in here for you of what my hand looked like. Uh, specifically for game one is what I recorded. But it's so good. And they just called time. 1-0 so far, which is nice. Because we had the buy, which I was like, okay, I was going to get the win anyways. We ended up playing our opponent. It's funny because they were going to give him a game loss because he came 10 minutes late. But I just said, don't worry about it. Let's just play it through. 2-0, baby. So we're 1-0 right now uh, in terms of record. We got three more rounds to go. Let's see how we do. So if you guys didn't watch the first place profile, this is kind of what it looks like. This is the exact same list that i played uh the other day so nothing really different on this end the only thing that i changed so you guys can check out the profile like i said if you guys want a more in-depth like uh reasoning but the only thing i changed were these and these so that's pretty much it i just i just put those in um in the side deck and in the extra deck over here and more also on, not on trident dragon so right now, i don't have one of those but uh yeah it's literally the exact same thing across the board except just for these because i think these are going to be really really good and i think they have a lot of implications in today's meta so yeah but yeah like you guys can see no trident dragon this card was mvp for me last time let's see if it does good today as well so we'll see how it goes all right so i want to give you guys a quick recap of round two and round three we're currently three and oh baby undefeated let me talk to you guys a little bit about it all right i like the spot over here actually with the sunlight with the buildings in the background it's nice but round uh one like i mentioned we played against you bell fiend smith we two owed round two we ended up playing up against uh white forest actually which is the first time i've ever played the deck i didn't know what half the cards do yeah i got a four nine all right, what would you like? I'll take first. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. We ended up winning, which is really nice. Uh, he was playing the Runic build, which was kind of annoying. Game one, he flipped Skildren on me. Uh, it'll be in the dual replays. I actually did a feature match of myself for that one. So that'll be on the Spankle Duels channel. That one was kind of rough because I didn't know how to play around Skildren. But then he outed his own skill drain like he got rid of it because he couldn't play and then i was like oh cool and i was able to otk so yeah that was 2-0 as well and then round three i just played up against ubel again so back to back ubel players my locals here love ubel but uh back to back ubel or not back to back but two out of three with ubel you go first yeah. oh he's locking it in he's locking it in it's not a good hand sure 
Sure. <laughs> game one, I OTK. Game two, he makes me go first. I didn't end on anything except for Hieratic Seals. However, the really nice thing about Hieratic Seals is it can summon Drago. And Drago is just like FTK against uh, Ubel because all the monsters are dark. And if you just end on a Drago, they can't special summon light or dark monsters. So you're pretty much shutting them out. Now, I actually tried to do that in my round two against White Forest because they're all light monsters, but um, it didn't really work out that way. Not that it mattered anyway. You guys will see on the dual replay. But yeah, so we're 3-0 and currently. We have our final round. We're going into the finals. Who knows what we're going to be playing up against. I think the semi-final, the other semi-final match right now is going on. And that's happening on the dual channel as well. There's a lot going on on the dual channel coming up for you guys. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. We're 3-0. Um, it's been a pretty good locals. Funny enough, every time I vlog, it goes quiet, so it kind of gets awkward here. But um, you guys can see, it's pretty packed up today. It's not about ooh, the lighting here is kind of nice. You already know, you already know. All right, um, yeah, I'll see you guys after round four. I'll see if I can get a feature match for round four as well, just to get the finals. And then let's see if we can go four and oh today. I don't know how to play against your deck, because your deck okay. just says, oh. I can't be destroyed. True. I just got to remember that Mirror Sword is a quick effect. Finals, baby. All right, good luck. It's fitting that we meet in the finals, eh? I know. The I last time we played, it was uh, I was just using dinos and I dinos was a good deck. Dinos no, a good deck. Was good. I'm actually planning to bring it back. I'm at seven. What are you at, sir? What Ooh, is that? Three. All right. I really want to go second, but I know against Chimera it can be kind of rough, and I I shouldn't do this in the finals, but I'm gonna limit test. I'm gonna go first. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna limit okay. test, okay? I like that, I like that. All right, good luck, bro. All right, good luck, bro. Let's limit test here. Interesting. This is a pretty decent limit testing hand. It's not great, but it's pretty decent. I will start things off by uh, summoning Fenrir. Okay. And uh, I will activate Fenrir's search. Cool. I will search another Fenrir. I'll go Sangan summoning. Okay. Activate effect to search. Yeah. That's fine. So it's just during my main phase, they're unaffected. Okay. There you go. Oh, just during your main phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, no, only during mine. And specifically during main phase one only, not main phase two. Okay. Which is really random, but whatever. I'll go ahead and normal summon Pydra. Okay. And I'll activate effect to Pydra. So I am going to. The question is, I want to set it or I just want to add it to my hand? No, I'll just add it to hand. Add time into hand. I will, because I control a fire monster, summon Chandra, fire dragon specifically. Yep. Link two. Into spheres. Oh, I didn't pitch for summoning, did I? I'll just, I'll pitch other Fenrir. Sorry, yeah, I apologize. And then, actually, funny enough, I will just. Uh, I'll pass it. Sounds good. Yep. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright, lads, we just finished the finals. That was... You want to tell him what happened? Yo, we tied. It was Let's a legit go. tie. We went into time. Uh, he got game one. You guys are going to see it. it's on the dual channel. Game one went back and forth for so long. And then um, we got into game two. There's like five minutes left on the clock going into game two. I go second. I had an Ash from Mirror Swords Knight, which is, uh, wasn't, it wasn't his best hand. So Ash was enough. And then he was able to pass essentially, came back to me. Tenpai, you know how Tenpai is, easy OTK. So we had, were 1 1. Um, cause I got game one, he got, or sorry, he got game one, I got game two, and then, um, we ended up tying because of time, which technically, you guys are gonna see it here, technically it says Aladdin's first, but it was a tie. It was, it wasn't really, I came first or second, but technically my undefeated streak continues. By the way, if you guys ever want to come play locals and you guys are in the Etobicoke area, come check out Emmett's. It's actually such a fun locals, but I just wanted to show you guys Aladdin Amira. Technically still first place. All in all, it was a really good day. I'm uh, still technically undefeated on Tempai. The deck is super, super fun. We came first place again, technically again. It was XL1 in four rounds. Still a very fun day. And I, I love this locals, man. I have such a good time here. The crowd here is great. Everyone's so nice. Everyone's so, in, in, like, they're so friendly and welcoming and stuff. And it's and we've built a great community here. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I want to show you guys, actually, okay, before we end off the video, though, I do want to show you guys a little bit of a clip of what happened in our final round. Sword Knight? Sure. Uh, Sword Knight effect? To trigger uh, for cost. Ash. No, Ash. it's fine, it's fine. I'll go with my phone. Set. 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 Uh, half per turn. There we go, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, Stand by. Yep. Main? Yep. Can I go to everyone? It's coming. Anything? No. I go to somebody? Chandra. Pitch a card, I will pitch. 
Yeah. Loki should have uh, gone Sword, sword Knight Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Loki. If I can read that. <laughs> Nama Summon Pyja. Search Kaiman. Because I can draw fire. Summon Sundra, Chandra. Mm -hmm. Enter battle. That's fine. 17? 1500? Yep. You've taken 32. 32. I'm just gonna have to tell battle phase. Kaiman. Chandra effects. Uh, I think it, it's. Uh, what are you pitching right? for cost? Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna pitch chain. Which is kind of Sure. It's kind of solar cells. negate these two. That's fine. Add Fajra. Summon Fajra. That's tough. Effect on summon. Summon Dora Dora back. Oh, what the hell is that, dude? Just a fire. I just wanted this to get in the graveyard so that crazy. I can summon. Add 16. 400. You've taken 52, so you're at less than 3. Uh, Fajra effect. Bad effect on summon. Summon back Chandra. Oh, oh shit. Uh, 26. <laughs> yeah, give me a sec. <laughs> So it gets game. That's game. Okay. Game. All right. So now that I got to show you guys that, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more vlog footage like this one. We don't do the vlogs super often anymore, but I want to start doing them again. They're very fun to do. It's something where I get to show you guys how I play, how locals goes, how I do at these events, and then the Spanko Duels channel is great as well because you guys can watch how I actually play the decks that I show you guys here on the channel, which is really nice. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. With that, Spanko signing out. Peace.